Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about fish scale patterns. And I will show you different styles and how to create them in Fusion 360. Let's get started. The first design is pretty straightforward. It's basically a set of crisscross straight lines. And if your design doesn't need too much detail for each scale or you just need small scales, this is the way to go. So first you draw a set of parallel lines and for that you can use the rectangular pattern. And you can see the lines, they don't have to be symmetrical from left to right and right to left. For example here, the lines from right to left kind of stop in the middle. So the lines from left to right kind of look like ribcage at the bottom. Once you have the straight lines on the center plane, you can project them onto the surface of the body. And you can see those purple lines, they are the projected lines. And once you have those lines, you can create pipe form using those lines. and then combine those pipe forms with the body using cut operation. And there you have it, the simple straight line cut design. The next design style utilizes the extrude feature. And here we need to create a scale pattern first. For the demonstration purpose, I'm using three arcs to create a simple scale shape. Once I have a single scale, I'm taking an offset, so when I repeat the scale, there will be a small gap between the scales. Now create a pattern from this single scale. Now we have the scale pattern, uh, we can use the extrude feature to put those scales on the body. So first we select the scale profiles that we want to use and uh, select the extrude start to be the object because we want to extrude from the object surface. And for the object we select the surface on the fish body. And as you can see, I can only select one object, so that's one drawback here. For the extent type, select distance. Here I got some error, uh, because some of the profiles, they don't intersect the body when we do the extrude. So we have to remove those profiles. Let's try 0.4 so we can see more um, effect. And there you have it, the scale pattern using extrude. As you can see, this method doesn't extend the scale patterns beyond the face that you selected. So that's one drawback. And also, you can see the scales, they are kind of only one directional. They are not perpendicular to the surface of the body, but kind of straight out from the center plane. In the extrude options, you can actually set the extent to adjacent faces, but that option only shows up when you set the start to profile plane. So let's try that. So for the extent type, set it to, to object and select the object. 
set the operation to join, set the extent to two adjacent faces, say OK here. And you can see it kind of works, but not all the way. For example, the uh, bottom scales, uh, we can see that we, have, we got some additional scales across the faces, but not the ones on top. Either Fusion 360 has some issue or I didn't set something correctly. Again, I'm showing one directional extrusion result here. It might not be an issue, but uh, I just pointed out here. Next method is similar to the previous one, but instead of using extrude, we use emboss here. Again, first we select the profiles that we want to emboss from the body, and we want to make sure we don't select those that fall out of the body. Once the error goes away, we hit OK. It does take a little bit longer than extrude operation, but the result is quite satisfactory. As you can see, the embossed result goes to the top and bottom of the fish body, no problem. Also, the embossed scales are perpendicular to the body surface. It is different from the pattern extrude result, so this will give you an additional option in your design if you want to have this kind of style for your scales. So far, we have seen the scale patterns where the scales are kind of level to the same surface. But in reality, fish scales are more like on top of each other, layer by layer. So to achieve the layered look, I started to experiment with this arowana modeling and thought since they have bigger scales, it should be easier to come up with something. So I began with making a single scale and try to make a linear pattern out of that scale along the body, build a second row of scales and so on, then I realize it's not the way to go because those scales will not be forming the shape of the fish body. The scales should be cut out from the body so they will form the fish body naturally when we put them together. And since those scales are overlapping each other, we can't just cut out scales from one body we should at least cut them out from two identical bodies and then stagger the cutouts one after another. Therefore, the layer stagger method is born. To demonstrate the concept and the procedures of this method, I'm using this simplified example. Here I have four columns of scale cutouts, two from the white body and two from the red body. And the white body and the red body are identical. And here is what they should look like after assembly. And you can see the layers are on top of each other. To create these cutouts, let's work on the white body first. First, we sketch the outline of a column of scales and duplicate the outline and split the white body with those scale outlines. And after that, we rotate each splitted body with a small angle and set them aside. Here I'm only showing two slices, but in reality, there will be a bunch of them. And next, we create a shifted version of those scale outlines. And here you can see when combined with the original outlines, they form a completed picture of a scale pattern, well, with some overlapping. And then we use the shifted version of the outlines to split the red body, which is identical to the white body, by the way. And uh, repeat what we did previously, rotate each splitted body with the same angle. 
And once we process all the splits, we then put the white ones and the red ones together. And there you go, the layer staggered scale pattern. Now let's apply this method on the example fish body. There are about 40 of those slices that you need to split and rotate in this example. Although most of the steps are repetitive, they do tear you up and probably once in a while cause some human operation error. So to alleviate the pain, I started to learn the Fusion 360 programming API and developed a Python script to do this automatically. I have to say this is not so easy as what I thought and along the way I found some unsupported features or maybe a bug in the Fusion module but uh, I was able to find the workaround and eventually got something that sort of worked. And I was able to apply the script on this fat tail gear design which has total about 72 splits and it does take a while and uh, it also takes a lot of uh, computer resources. Hey, but it's not me that's sweating. While I was enjoying watching the result, I noticed something that does not look too natural. So basically the scale pattern looks too uniform. From this Arana picture, you can see the scales are not the same size and also they are not the same shape. In addition, the center line of the scales is not a straight line. You can just follow the lateral line and you will see that. So I went back to my Python code and made some changes. With the new improvements, I'm able to program the lateral line curve and make it whatever shape I want. Also make the size and the shape of the scales as a function of lateral line position. Here's the result and I'm quite happy with it. The script does not work 100% of the time and under some condition, I still have to come in and fix the problem manually. So I don't plan to release it at the moment. But in any case, I have demonstrated a few methods for creating fish scale patterns in Fusion 360. Hope this tutorial is helpful in your next 3D modeling project. Please leave your questions in the comment section. Let me know which method you like the most and which ones you have applied before and what your experience is with those methods. 
I will see you in the next one.